good morning. I have practically no time. I always do this to myself, 20 minutes to get ready and make breakfast or whatever. So I am getting ready super fast. So let's do this. Okay, so two minutes. Today I'm getting pizza because I'm skipping a formal dinner. But I would like to know, I would like you to know that I normally do not do this. The last two vlogs I did that, but normally I have a bento box. It has crackers, meat, cheese, and peppers. Okay, we are out technically on time. Again, if I don't leave by 7.10, I will be late. <laughs> and lately, I've just been pushing my luck with how I've been waking up at 6.50 and I normally take a lot longer to get ready just to like take my time and if I make breakfast, I've been eating RX bars and Lara bars so that saved me some time. But tomorrow, I need to really be at work by 7.30 because, or really 7.20ish because we're doing, we did this weekly prayer group with other teachers and I've been so late to that and I, really love it and find it really life-giving and I want to make it a priority. Anytime I've been late, it's been by a minute or two minutes and that's just because I leave a minute or two minutes too late or the train gets delayed or something and I should arrive there five to ten minutes early but things happen. I think I'm in golden hour right now. But yeah, um, part of the reason why I wanted to continue to make videos like this is because I watched this video from Matt Diavella, which basically said that it's hard for creators to create something new, but when you're vlogging, you're just documenting your everyday life, so that's a great place to start. And today I'm gonna to be doing a lot, so I figured what better day to vlog than a day that you're gonna be doing a ton of different things. So that was my mentality. Just my has a sermon on this. I will get better, I will be better tomorrow. <laughs> okay, we're in the room and you can hear the music, which means a muster is going to happen. But we have something called pre-IEP meetings. IEPs are these individual education plans that special education teachers write. And one really cool thing that this school does is during that morning, morning, morning muster time, we will have meetings and powwows just to share with students so that we can write that to the best of our ability because it's not just my perspective or that teacher's perspective, but you need a compilation of all of these other teachers' perspectives. But yes, I am in this room. I love starting first period here. The music is going. My lip product has completely gone, but we made it. This is my outfit, by the way. This is actually an ethical company. I got it from a cause box. This dress is from ASOS, leather jacket from Tahari, and I have my comfy shoes. I'm gonna go up for the meeting and I will continue to see you throughout the day. Hello, it is now period three. The bell literally just rang. I normally don't actually get to stay in this room even though it's free during period three and that's an, a very, very rare thing for a room to be free during a period. But the reason why is because I have co-planning meetings normally during this time. If I'm holding an IEP, an individual education plan meeting, then I will do it during this time, sometimes or period two. Okay. Tried to show you how I was faxing in some documents to CSIS. And if you become a special education teacher, you will get used to that. We recently learned that there's another scanner that's much faster. So I was able to use that. I'm gonna do some work right now, prep, whatnot. And then next period, I teach English 10. Period after that, English 10 again. And then English 11. After English 11 is lunch. And finally, the last period of English 11. And after that, I'm gonna be going to Orange Theory for a workout. And after Orange Theory, I'm going to an event. So today is gonna be a really eventful day and I 
hope you guys find it interesting. But I want to make the most of the time I have right now. So I'm going to try to do some work right now. Here's an update. Finished my apple. I'm going to have some almonds as I make some photocopies. Vocab quiz was sent to me and I spoke with my co-teacher. So I'm going to grade the part threes. Meaning tomorrow gonna be crazy. A lot of grading, but we're gonna get it done. Um, I need to now make the copies of the vocab quiz, make 100 copies of the part three English Common Core Regents rubric, and then hopefully I just can get that done because I have around like 20 minutes left. But that's also the nature of teaching waves of work, waves of lull times, but there is always work to do, so. Don't you worry about not having work to do when you're teaching. You will always have work. It's just prioritizing which work you're doing. So let's go make some copies. Copies are done. <sighs> a few minutes and I'm going to go use the restroom because it'll be a little hectic in the next three periods. I try to not go when I'm teaching even though I have a co-teacher because it's just kind of hectic depending on the day. But I still go a lot to be honest because, you know, I use the bathroom. That's something people don't tell you about teaching. I'm also, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to do it, but I'm finishing up a slideshow for a sermon. I finished up the sermon last night. I'm speaking at a church, I'm really excited. If you want anyone to speak to your youth groups or whatever, please call me. I am trying to get more experience just speaking at different places. I speak often now at my church, but not so much in different places. So I would love the opportunity just to go and learn more. And I think it's always a growing experience for me to give a sermon, so let me know but i'll just scroll through and show you what it looks like meantime we're gonna have discussion questions then all of these fun things and slideshow whatever still gotta do a lot of stuff actually for teaching i do a lot of slideshows as well so i feel like that has prepared me well for adding slideshows to sermons which i am really appreciative of <sighs> one, I was gonna say one more period, but like just a couple of minutes before. Excuse me. Now we are taking a much needed lunch break. I paused momentarily because the truck was packing up and making really loud noises. And I wanted to talk to you guys about today. I'm always skeptical about what I share, what I don't share, but I do think a lot of teachers listen. And I appreciate when teachers with YouTube channels are transparent about their days and their tough days. And today has been really hard. And the reason for that being that in class today, many students were very needy. And just imagine different people constantly calling you and I'm happy that they call me but it's just overwhelming at times and just managing that and trying to help everyone and trying to do, there's just so many things involved with an average start of a class because you start with attendance, but while attendance is happening, you also have homework checks sometimes and then you're starting up this and whatever. There's just so many things involved, so many pieces, and it can be very overwhelming. And I had a student who was refusing to work and wouldn't take any coping mechanisms to calm down. I ended up stepping out to call a parent as recommended by my co-teacher. And when I stepped out, I dropped my laptop and my already broken LCD screen got just a little bit more broken. And I was really <laughs> upset, but I was trying to remind myself, you know, it's okay, let's take a breath. And I ended up letting her know, like, I'm just gonna take a minute, go to the bathroom. And I use that time to literally just stay for a couple seconds and breathe because I could feel how stressed I was. And I'm super grateful for this time right now because now I have a chance to go have lunch, 
to refuel to whatever. Let me just say that that was so healing. I just think of Ezekiel in the Bible and when he was feeling really low, God just had him, I believe, sleep and then eat. <laughs> so I think a lot of our problems could be solved if we just had a good meal. I'm treating myself to some iced milk tea right now and then one more period before we go to Orange Theory and then head out for that cool event on human trafficking. I'm gonna have to not use my phone too much. I'm home right now. I only have 53% charge because I kind of forgot that I'm only stopping briefly at home. I've changed into my workout attire and I have my bag stiff. A little baggie here with a change of clothes and hair stuff and I have my bag with a book and my leather jacket. So we're gonna work out, enjoy that. I'm gonna see if I can charge it behind this, the desk and just delete some of the stuff on my phone because I literally can't keep recording. Orange theory can be confusing, and today I just decided when I was confused to do whatever I want. I think I pissed off my coat. So let's shower and then head to the event. young people who want to get involved so if you're in the city and you want to get to know more about Restore NYC and help out and whatnot then I highly recommend you check it out but I think I'm gonna end off here for the night thank you for following me along for the day hope you guys enjoyed my curls have actually they're kind of nicer than they normally are <laughs> um, after using that random shampoo but yeah, I don't know, I was just like showing you something random, but it was great. I'm having you guys come along with me.